Okay, I have one last test to go over with you today, and it's a big one. It's called the ratio test, and it is a very good test for determining absolute convergence of a series. I would ask that you try to pay special close attention to this one, because we'll be making use of it a lot, almost exclusively, when we get to power series. It says, given a series, sigma sum of a sub n, take the limit of the absolute value of the ratio a sub n plus 1 over a sub n, and if the limit you get is strictly less than 1, then the series is guaranteed to be absolutely convergent. If the limit is strictly greater than 1, then the series is definitely divergent. But if the limit is exactly equal to 1, or does not exist, the ratio test is inconclusive, and you'll need to use a different test. A good thing to keep in mind about the ratio test is it works particularly well on series whose terms involve factorials or exponentials. As for why it works, I won't give a detailed explanation today, but you can kind of understand how it works by thinking about what the limit of that ratio represents intuitively. The limit represents what the ratio of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n approximately equals for large values of n. If that ratio is less than 1, then it's essentially saying that, for large values of n, the series resembles a geometric series whose r value is less than 1, and hence convergent. But if that ratio is greater than 1, then for large values of n, the series resembles a geometric series whose r value is greater than 1, and hence divergent.